Welcome to game two between Thebus and Masuchi. At the nine o'clock base, we have Masuchi starting as the Grey Zerg three o'clock location. We have Thebus starting as the Red Terran. This is BSL season 13 Hasu League Grand Finals game two. And this is on Heartbreak Ridge. Heartbreak Ridge, I honestly feel like there's a lot of opportunity for Zerg to do a lot on this map because of how large the expansion or how large the surface area is at the main. Mutalisks uh, can harass for the natural expansion. Lurkers on those spokes can be devastating. There's lots of opportunities for Zergling surrounds. However, I also wonder if Phoebus is going to opt for dropship play in this match because there is a lot of surface area to do those potential drops on. Game one, I felt like both players were playing not to their fullest potential. Phoebus ended up kind of winning out through a long macro match. It could be unfamiliarity with the map itself. I'm not positive. But once, I think this, we were discussing it in chat afterwards. I think, uh, I'll give the shout out to Skincrawler. I think once the upper left hand base was discovered, Masuchi knew the gig was up. And that was going to be GG regardless. Thebus had a very controlling economy. It just felt like he was, uh, I don't know, felt slow, sloppy, something like that. Uh, not to his, his usual furious... Stuff dropping everywhere self is what it felt like. Army cohesion wasn't that great. Also the science vessels. So I'm wondering if uh, just it felt like the vessels were in small number and also exposed and getting wiped out. So point being, there is opportunity for Masuchi to potentially win in this match. And I'm wondering if it comes down to nerves for both of these guys. Second hatch being grabbed. Lurkers can also be a big... If you can get lurkers up in this corner, you can see where they devastate the line. There's a lot of opportunities for stuff as well. So I'll put it this way. Game one, Phoebus, clearly the victor. Ooh. Refinery being grabbed fairly rapidly here. But my curiosity is, are we going to see mech play? I like mech play on this map. I like the decision to go mech on this play, particularly with mines and those spokes that can be uh, going up against high ground. Yeah, you, you force overlords to be out in position. You can also follow that up with, uh, I'm not sure why I decided to zoom there. You can also follow that up Actually, 1-1-1 one, one, one could be particularly strong in this map, now that I think about it. Masuchi scouting, sees the SCVs on gas. Currently, one base play, looking like one base play. Drone kind of hiding under that tree <laughs> in the corner. Spawning pool is going to finish. We'll see how many Zerglings get produced. Looks like thus far, none. Come on, build the Zerglings. There we go. We are going to see initial four and a techno layer. SCV scout sneaking across. And I'm almost wondering if this overlord is suggesting that this is going to be the third grab for Masuchi. Proxy factory. You sneaky son of a gun. Phoebus sneaking a factory in the upper left-hand corner. SCV scout scooting around. So. We do have, and I'm wondering if he's going to try to float it in. Floating it in would be next level. Just Zergling, so SV now moving out of the base. Let's see if he draws these Zerglings out. There is a Creep Call Me being planted on the front. Yeah, he's going to float it in. I like the cheese from Thebus. Even if this doesn't work out, I like seeing it. Overlord kind of camped at that corner. The Zerglings pushing forward. Oh, it's... Masuchi doesn't see it. He does not see it. Lair finishes. Spire. Oh, so close. Being built there. The Zerglings pushing in. Plenty of Marines to engage. But this is going... With the Zerglings so far out of position. And Mutalisks so, yeah, late, honestly, in production. Yeah, you can see Masuchi just trying to get some degree of scouting information. Second barracks being built. He knows something's up. He's like, okay, this isn't two-base play, so where is everything? First vulture being produced. Once the second vulture's out, yeah, expect these drones to just get annihilated. Still doesn't see the vultures. Oh, yeah, the vultures peeling forward. Interrupting the gas first. And the main is now no longer mining. The other trick of this is the vultures can just go, potentially, if they sneak through, they can go up to this high ground. 
And I think they might be able to range fear. I'm not positive. But now, Misuchi is down to one base. And it's going to be a while. So the Spire will be up at the very least. This could turn into a turnaround difficult situation, though, because that's not a game-ending maneuver. Drone's trying to peel back in before the Mutalisks are produced. And a lot of them spending their lives for it. Are they going to go for the high ground? Yeah, now moving up to the high ground. And I do believe... Look, I want to see. They can, at the very least, attack that edge. And so now, yeah, everything getting... Nothing going right currently for Masuchi. is going to be able to get Mutalisks out in the air. Additional Marines Academy... Early starport and a science facility, like, right off the bat. The Mutalists look like they're going to be able to finally clean up these vultures, but not before they were able to do an immense amount of devastation. Another vulture still sneaking out. The factory finally spotted. And so much lost mining time for Masuchi in the midst of this. He is effectively all in at this stage. 13 drones remaining. A Wraith finally sneaking out. I don't know that it has cloaking as of yet. But a Science Festival to follow. So this is kind of a odd modified 111. The Mutalisk's not responding in time. I think Masuchi's just kind of got to be frustrated and hanging up the jacket at this stage. Now in the red. Keep in mind this is the best of seven, so he's got opportunity to recover. The Mutalisk's still not responding. The Scourge produced to go ahead and chase down that Wraith. And it looks like it was actually able to get two Overlord kills in the midst of all this. And a Medic Marine Force that is potentially, potentially can bust all of this has been fielded in the meantime. A Radiate and a Science Vessel there as well. And nice positioning there. The Scourge not able to save, or the Scourge, the Wraith getting saved by the Medic Marine Force that was positioned underneath. And now Thebus can just walk out. It's kind of a gentle follow-up. I guess he couldn't leave the Mutalists off the front because he still had to deal with the Vultures that potentially were going to sneak out attack his main. Right now, though, Phoebus with a worker lead, but not a massive worker lead. He's just not taking that natural expansion. But he's got a huge tech lead. That Science Vessel is going to come out. Sorry, the Science Vessel is already out. Already has a Radiate to work with. A Wraith to spot on top of everything else. So I'm not sure that these Mutalists are long for life. And yeah, a bunch of sunken colonies getting dropped from Masuchi just to try to stay in the match. Hydral Sten also plopping down. Looking for some recovery. But regardless, this is now a difficult situation. The Looking for an Irradiate, actually. It's Comsat dropped. Is he going to sneak in and go for the Irradiate? Needs to be careful. Ugh little bit of micro to keep that wraith alive unfortunately for yeah masuchi really rapidly needs to shift to something that is not mutilus because that irradiate could obliterate them very rapidly S range has been upgraded still sitting on two barracks phoebus might want to just i don't know where he wants to play from here if he can just keep masuchi boxed into two bases he will end up winning this the mutilisks able to flood all the way across and get into this Looking to do some counter damage, but they're going to eat and irradiate immediately. Oh, never mind. That SCV is going to eat and irradiate immediately. What a misclick. Yeah, both players may be playing a little bit tired, but the Mutalus, yeah, getting cleaned up. Second irradiate? There's the second irradiate. A little bit easier to split. Unfortunately, they are not getting split, so one Mutalus remains with 48 health. Masuchi opting to go ahead and drop a Queen's Nest. He's just going to try to play it two base straight to Hive Tech. What a weird match. This looks like an old school BGH match now all of a sudden. You've got six Sunken Colonies on the front. Natural Expansion just being grabbed by Thebus. He, had, he does have the Worker Lead overall. He's just pumping out of two Barracks. Now going for a Dropship to just float over everything, so I guess my dropship call was correct. Just not exactly the path that I was expecting to get there. Lurker tech has been finished, so maybe some lurkers here in the background will defend this, but Thebus with the dirty tactics in the final here. Science vessels moving forward. 
Potentially they can just, yeah, poke in, irradiate. This is a difficult situation for Masuchi to be in. SCV actually might even try to open up this back line. It looks like he's going to go down and start potentially, yeah, mining. Irradiates. Science Vessel gets wiped out, though. That's one weakness in Thebus's play at this stage. He's not done a very good job protecting his Science Vessels. But with those on the perimeter, they can kind of position and maybe open things up for a dropship to kind of sneak through the wings. SCV also kind of hiding to that upper right hand base. Second gas being grabbed. There's the drop. Yeah, just funneling these troops in. The Zerglings. Yeah, he needs to jump on top of this before the reinforcements come. The Zerglings getting wiped out before the Lurker burrows. The Lurker getting surrounded. It gets picked off. Stimming to the north. Again, stopping that gas production. Another Lurker on that corner gets wiped out before it's really able to burrow. Zerglings coming in, but they're just coming in piecemeal. And more reinforcements. Looks like they're going to be dropped on the high ground, potentially to disrupt that back line. Just halting that gas production. Able to get additional drone kills. Yeah, and this is just a cleanup operation. Masuchi exiting, I think this time, officially without a GG. Because, yeah, that was some dirt right there. Woof. All right. Maybe not. Probably GG'd in chat afterwards. We'll move on to game three thus far. This is the best of seven, but thus far, Thebus is controlling it 2-0. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.